How's it going, everybody? This is Ruby, and this is episode 79 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Energetic Infuser from Thermal Expansion. So, this block, pretty much what it does is it has an internal storage of 400,000 RF, or redstone flux, and it's used to recharge items that have RF charges or things of that sort. So, for example, this iron pickaxe from Tinker's Construct, I have what's called the flux on it, and this makes it so that the uh, durability is replaced with RF, so you can recharge it in this machine, and then whenever it gets done, it actually puts it, well, I can't put anything over there, but it puts it over here in this orange area right there. And this machine is powered many different ways. Uh, one of the most probably popular ways to do it is just with a steam dynamo. Since it doesn't store very much power, it kind of depends on what you're recharging. This pickaxe has 400,000, so that pickaxe would actually, if it was completely dead, would empty this out. So, of course, you can use things like steam dynamos or any of the real dynamos from Thermal Expansion. Um, or you can always just use a energy cell and it just hooks right up to that and this is probably the most recommended way that way you have kind of a buffer so if we go ahead and take a look at the building recipe for this it is going to be two copper a redstone reception coil which is a piece of gold and two redstone it's going to be two redstone transmission coils which is a piece which, which is a piece of silver and then two redstone a leadstone energy cell frame which is for lead, for glass, and then a block of redstone. And then of course a machine frame which is for iron, a piece of gold, and then for more glass. Automating this machine since it's thermal expansion is rather easy actually. So here I have two item ducts, one going into the top and one going out the bottom. Now these aren't the set sides of course because as it is thermal expansion you can config these options within the configuration gear tab here. So I have this item duct here, it's actually got a servo in here so that I have it set to ignore redstone. So if I put my pickaxe up here it'll automatically get sucked down in here, it'll get powered and then it'll be put, it'll be put over here and then it'll get transferred over here out the side. Now since it also is thermal expansion, you don't have to supply any power to this. You just have to set it as, uh, like it can't be blue, it has to be the orange out arrow. So that's going to be it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments below and I'll be happy to respond to you. If you enjoyed this video, a rating would be always much appreciated. And subscribe, as I always have new Feed the Beast videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you.